Hey class, today we are going to be talking about industrial high temperature solar thermal power plants. The main goal of solar thermal power plants is to take a traditional power plant that usually uses fossil fuels for generation and replacing those fossil fuels with an environmentally friendly energy source, which is the sun, and then that energy is used specifically for industrial scale uses. Solar thermal power plants create two and a half times more jobs than conventional power plants that use fossil fuels to generate energy. They also save about 46 million barrels of oil per year. They are among the most cost-effective renewable power technologies. It is theoretically possible that over 90% of the nation's electricity and most of the transportation sector's energy needs could be supplied by solar thermal technology within the next 50 years. Solar thermal power plants generate energy by using reflectors to concentrate the sun's energy. That energy is then stored so that it can be used whenever it is needed, no matter the weather conditions. There are about five different models of the solar thermal power plant, but the most famous is the power tower. The power tower uses a 300-foot tower in order to receive focused sunlight. It uses an array of 1,926 flat movable mirrors called heliostats to focus the sun's rays upon a collector tower, which is the target. The power tower provides power for about 10,000 homes. Early designs use the focused rays to heat water and use the resulting steam to power a turbine. New designs use liquid sodium and molten salts composed of 40% potassium nitrite and 60% sodium nitrite as working fluids. These working fluids have high heat capacity, which can be used to store the energy before using it to boil water to drive turbines. These designs also allow power to be generated when the sun is not shining. The names of these designs are parabolic trough, solar dish engine systems, CSP plants, and Fresno reflectors. Access to cheaper materials needs to be achieved before mass implementation. For short-term use, the amount of money it takes in order to build, operate, and maintain solar thermal power plants is much greater than the benefits. The technology used, such as the solar panels and heliostats, costs too much money as it is to be a feasible source of energy for widespread use. The power plants need access to the sun most of the time and disturb desert areas that meet this condition. However, individual and inexpensive solar cookers can concentrate the sunlight to cook food. This reduces air pollution and deforestation. Solar energy has no CO2 emissions, so it is one of the least environmentally impacting forms of energy. Power is stored during the daytime in molten salts at approximately 1,050 degrees Fahrenheit. This storage of heat can allow solar power plants to operate around the clock. 